What you doing? <laughs> okay then. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so for today's video, I think I'm just gonna do like a get ready with me. I'm gonna show you how to do a look on a different palette that I just got. So basically, I'll tell you all the products that I'm using for my face that I personally like. And chit chat with you about my day and how it's been going. Alright. So, before I, whenever I start my makeup routine, I always, I, I just started using the Tatcha primer. Um, I really like how it feels on my skin. It came, it came with like a little button thingy to help put on your face, or to help put on your face easier for an easier application, but. I lost it. Apparently. I cannot find it. So it looks like I'm going with my finger. Which is... sucks. Which just kind of looks like this. I don't know. I like how it feels on my skin. So we just recently got a huge like snowstorm here in Minnesota. And I'm not kidding you, in the last like day and a half, I think we got about like um, almost a foot of snow. We got a lot. Just like today at work, it sucked. Um, I had to do a delivery to um, this restaurant that is in Duluth, so which is like, it was like about 30, not 30, like, 15 minutes away from my work so I went out to go and get a van which is what we're supposed to use when we're um, doing our deliveries and I'm not even kidding it was a completely snowed in after my boss did um, the snow plowing he had, it was literally snowed in <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, so it was snowed in. And there was so much snow on top of it that even like a regular just snow, like one of those snow wipers or scrapers wasn't going to work for it at all. Um, so for my foundation, by the way, I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I'm color... This isn't mine. This is on Pearl. But, I thought I was ivory, so, okay, well, I'm using somebody else's foundation. I'm pretty sure I'm using Katie's, my best friend Katie's foundation. Anyways, so, yeah, so, like, a regular, like, snow scraper wasn't going to get it off at all. And I had to go inside, get a broom, and all I was wearing was, like, um, a regular winter jacket, some Ugg boots, and I had like my socks on underneath, on underneath it, like fuzzy socks, cabin socks, which are my favorite kind of socks of all time. I love the feeling of them, especially when they're brand new. They're just so soft, smooth, nice to wear. Um, and then anyway, so I got a regular, like, just a smaller broom to use for um, wiping it off, and. I went, I started walking right in front of the van, and I was literally stepped in a huge amount of snow, so I had snow all the way down my Ugg boots, like in my socks, um, I, sorry, I had snow all in my jacket, and I didn't even get it off all the way, so then I just kind of gave up, and I just like started, couldn't see out of the windshield and the front windshield or the back windshield so I just said screw it and drove all the way to the other side of the building where I had to put the meat boards in so I left the vehicle running and then eventually um I just left it running so that I could see out of the front window but I couldn't see out of the back window at all which was kind of horrible um okay so now I'm going with my concealer and it's fair beige from it's a, sharp, it's a Tarte Shape Tape. I like it. I don't use a lot of it because it's 
very full coverage and I don't really need a ton of it so that's why I just do a little bit but so anyways along with that story I um, had to deliver it to the Buffalo house and as I was going to the Buffalo house on the highway it was like scattered snow all over and it was still kind of slippery a little bit so I was like trying to stay in the one lane that didn't have any snow or ice on it at all and what ended up happening is that I had to go over and I was going like 55 miles an hour where there's a bunch of snow on the highway which is 70 freaked me out because my van also for some reason all of like the lights like the um all the lights in the front and even like the speedometer and everything would like turn on and turn off and turn on and turn off so it was kind of freaky I don't know it was a, it was a weird experience that's for sure um I'm kind of glad that we got some snow we need we like didn't get we, we would get snow but we wouldn't get a lot to the point where like it would like melt right away because it was actually pretty warm so far like the, the month of December and then now we just got it but kind of makes me want to go and play with it play in it like with my nephews go sledding that sounds really fun I like something in my eyeball hurts I don't know if you could see my dog in the background she's so sweet I'll show you a video of her at the very end She's an English Mastiff. Her name is Olive. She's eight. She's getting old. <laughs> um, so now I'm going into the Anastasia Contour Kit Light to Medium. And I'm using, or I'm going to use, if I can find it, the Morphe E48 brush. And I'm dipping into these two colors here for underneath my eyes to set them. I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead too. And then I'm going to go in with, it's called Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I'm going to set the rest of my face with that. The reason why I have this is because it's like $6 at Walmart. Very affordable. And it actually works really nicely. Plus it smells really good. So why not? And with that I'm going to go in with the M431 brush. I actually tried filming a video yesterday for this channel and I was doing my best friend Katie's makeup but I decided not to put it up because right in the back of my head I had a huge rat's nest that wouldn't go away and it made me look really hey so I was like screw it I'll just do a different one of me using my new palette and it'll still be good okay so now that I did that I'm gonna go in with my brows and I use the Anastasia brow definer one um, and I'm using it in the shade dark brown I'm trying to follow it with like my hair right here. I know. I need to go get like my roots touched up. They're looking oof, a little bit rough, but that's okay. I'll figure out a time to go. There's a coworker of mine that's leaving my job soon, and it actually makes me kind of sad. Because we actually are pretty decent friends, I would have to say, so gonna miss her. She'll be back in the summer though. My brows look a little crazy whenever I clean them up. 
I'll fix it though. Just gotta give me a bit. I hope you guys are having a good day. Cause I had a decent day. Minus my car troubles and being completely snowed on. But that's okay. Whew. That's okay. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to go back in with a tart shape tape that I have and fix the mess of whatever this is. So I'm going to pull my mirror a little bit closer to me. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. And when I do this, I go in with the brush. i got to find it now. Um, where did I put you? Found you. I'm going in with the... That is not it. Found it. With the M410 brush. Just so it has a good angle. I'm just gonna follow where I drew to make it look a bit, a bit, a bit better. Okay, so there are the brows finished. They look a little wonky. Uh, that's okay. Alright, and then now I'm going to go in with my palette. I'm going to do one side of the face on camera, and then I'll do the other off, so that will speed up the process. So I'm going with my new palette. It's I think it's pronounced Dose, Dose or Dose of Colors. Um, it's the Desi Times Katie Friendication Palette. Um, it's beautiful. First of all, this is just gorgeous. I like the sparkle. And then the inside, I like how there's a bunch of nudes, but then there's also a bunch of shimmers and glitters that are really beautiful. So I'm just going to do like a neutral look today. Um, so I'm going to start off with this color right here. It's like a neuter. It's like a nude that'll complement. Um, it'll be a good transition to say, to say that. I don't know what brushes I used. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill brush. Um, it's number 33. And I'm going to dip into that shade. And just do little twirls and windshield wiper motions. I 
I don't know, can you guys like see me doing it now? Here, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Right. That looks pretty good, I would think. And then, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Ooh, ooh, wrong way. Oh, look at that. Okay, and then I'm going to dip into the brush. It's a Morphe M506 brush, and I'm going to go in with this color. Um, I think it's called Girl By. It's called Girl By. And the other one I think was called Basic. I'm going to go inside the crease for a better dimension look. And then I'm going to go over again with the basic color and fluff out the edges to make it look smoother. Like that. I'm going to go in again and deepen it and put a little bit on the lid. Deepen the outer corner especially because we're going to want that to stand out a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the crease. And I'm going to use, again, the Tarte Shape Tape to do that with <sighs> cutting the crease is like the one thing that I struggle with. I can do it really good on other people, but when it comes to my own eye, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I make a lot of weird noises too when I'm doing this, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> Alright, so that's just gonna have to do. Okay, whatever. I go. And then I'm gonna go in with this color, and it's called Just a Kiss. Um, and I'm going to go in with my finger because to me I feel like that gives a better application than just using a brush. It's going to be a little messy, but that's okay. And then I'm going to dip into this um, color now. And that's called Try Me. Just a little bit though because it's very pigmented, so I don't need a lot. Alright, and then I'm going to go back into um, deepening that crease. So it looks a little bit better. Whew, the glitter in my eyeball, that kind of hurt. And then a little bit more of the gold speck. Okay. I'm going to wipe away this quick. Oof, duh. Alright, and then I'm going to go down to my lower lash line. Um, I'm actually going to buff this a little bit. Oh, okay. 
And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to use an M5 or an M124 brush. And I'm just going to dip into that darker color. The two main colors that I use, the maroon one and then that tan one. I'm going to go just right up against here. And then I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill 4-0 brush and I'm going to buff it out. Alright, so there's one I did with the eyeshadow. And I'm going to come back with another color in a second. Alright guys, I'm back. I did the lashes all done. Um, I used the style Goddess from Lily Lashes. I like them because they look a little bit more natural. I do like my Miami's too, but it didn't go with the light color look. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go into my contour. <sighs> I just got really felt really sick for a second. Oh, I feel good. The shop doesn't stop. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the E4 brush from Morphe to do the contour. I really like how this is on my <laughs> cheeks. Fun fact, I never knew how to contour my face until approximately two months ago. Um, I would watch like a ton of videos, but I never really knew where to go with it because I didn't think I looked good. And then, um, I was in Ulta one day because I really wanted to learn and like there's, like, I love Ulta a, a lot. Like that's my like main store I go to because there's a lot of drugstore products that I can use too that are really nice and not expensive. Um... So, there's like, I will only really go to a person and ask help for makeup if I think their makeup looks good. And there's sometimes those people where I'm like, eh, eh, I don't think that looks that good. But one day there's this one girl, her contour looks super good, look, looks snatched. She looked freaking bomb. And um, so I went up to her and I asked her if she could help me. And then she showed me where to go and I was like, oh. Either I'm stupid, or I just was that bad, didn't realize how to contour your freaking face. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, and as I do that, I'm going to actually put some lipides on. Um, I'm going to go on with a lip liner, just because whenever I put lipstick on, and I don't go with a lip liner, I literally, like don't put it on my lips right it doesn't look right it doesn't look good it doesn't show them how my lips are so i'm gonna go in with the milani um it's number three in nude i think it's pretty it's dark but it's gorgeous so i'm gonna do that quick I feel like I need to make that a little bit wider, we'll see. See, this side looks better. That looks better. That looks better. Okay. I just like to color a little bit in. You know. Okay, and for this bottom part, I literally have like this weird like arch right here. So 
You can really only see it when I'm smiling big when I have lipstick on, otherwise, yeah. So I literally just... <laughs> follow it like that. Sometimes it looks like I've overdrawn on my lips, but that's okay. Okay. That looks decent, right? I'm gonna go with that. Okay, whatever. And then I'm gonna go in with a lipstick. Um, it's from L'Oreal. It's called Darling Blush. It's number 985. It's matte and it's beautiful. It's like the color of my lip liner now that I think about it, but that's okay. I think it looks good even like with the maroon up on my eyeshadow because it doesn't really look maroon anymore it just looks like an off pink um, that's what I'm gonna go with and then I'm gonna dip into because I don't want to really take this off yet because it's not done so I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna dip into a bronzer and I'm using the M527 brush I'm gonna go just go over right here my forehead because otherwise I look really pale okay and then now screw it I'm just gonna take it off so I'm gonna wipe it off and then because I didn't really too much I'm gonna go up here okay and then for blush I am gonna use um I'm gonna use flower. It's um sweet pea. I think it's pretty. My lipstick looks weird. And then again, I'm gonna dip into the M439 brush. I'm gonna swirl it, tap it, and I can't. I don't like a lot of blush, so I wipe a little bit off, and then. This isn't me. Gotta. Okay. So there's that. I'm gonna give myself a little spritz. Mm. Hydrating. Anyways, and then I'm gonna fan my face because it needs to dry a little bit. It needs to look good. It needs to be dampy. Not damp, but I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into my highlighter and I'm going to use. called Opal. It's from Becca. I use Opal and Champagne Pop a lot, but Opal's been my favorite recently because it's a new. It's my new one. It's already out. Is my brush already out? Where'd you go? Found it. Okay, and then I use the M501 brush for my highlighter. And I always go above the cheekbones. Right here. Go 
and then I go above my brows, my nose, and then right on my cupid's bow. And I do like to go up here by my eyebrow, but there's already like a little bit of gold. But yeah. So this is my makeup look that I created with the Dose. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Pretty. I would wear this on a daily basis. I probably will. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any like recommendations for me to... Sorry, I knocked my mirror over with my water bottle. But no, for real. If you guys have any like recommendations that you want me to do on my channel, um, I'm pretty much up for anything. I don't want to just do all makeup videos. I would like to branch out. Um, I'm probably going to like videotape about what I'm doing on New Year's Eve with my girlfriends. We'll see. Don't know yet. Don't even know who's all going, so we will see. Um, but, yeah, just let me know. Like and subscribe if you want to continue following me and seeing where this takes me. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.